Alright yo, what's going on? It's Dill and we're back here on Madden 20 and in today's video I want to show you a little off meta scheme I've been uh, kind of labbing with and uh, running online. Uh, I haven't had the most success with it but I've only been running it for like a day or so and there's a couple good plays out of it if you're just tired of running like the same stick play out of West Coast or like Mesh Post or uh, the tight slots uh, Saints. If you just want something new to try out this is a pretty good scheme I would say um, the first play I want to show you this is like a pretty good uh, cover two beater base cover two if they're in soft squats or if they just like do something that's not a base cover two this isn't really that good of a play but uh, the stack out play I just picked and then we'll just show it against the, the big nickel cover two because that's what a lot of people online run so yeah cover two right here and just just watch X right here. He gets wide open every time. Boom. Easy like 20, 40 yard gain. Just depending on how good that safety is right there or how fast he is. So, and then I'll show it on the short side of the field too. This play works every time against uh, cover two. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good play for just beating cover two. Uh, I know a lot of people have trouble beating base cover two sometimes, but... Yeah, if they're in soft squats, you're probably just going to have to hit that out route. And uh, another uh, good thing this formation <clears throat> is good at is uh, beating the man blitz. So if we come back out and uh, stack out, and then we just show them, uh, let's see, uh, man blitz. Where's pinch buck? Pinch buck right here. So I like the streak triangle puts uh, square on a slant and then square gets wide open instantly every time and then I played someone online like this and they were uh, using a uh, you see the safety like that's guarding triangle they were using him and I was able to have uh, some success throwing the fade uh, triangle but yeah pretty much every time square wide open easy every time for uh, man blitz <clears throat> so we got cover two beaters we got um man blitz beaters so what else we need we need cover three and we need a cover four beater so um for cover three i like to come out and spread like i would i'll show you what i usually do like in game i always come out and double stack just because um just keeping the same base formation so they'll probably come out in the same defense so let's see we'll just do nickel normal cover three so this formation i'll show the play right here it's not really successful like square was open right there like this it's just not a good formation versus cover three so what we'll, what i like to do is uh go to uh spread and then put like uh x on a dig a little in route triangle on a streak um, keep a uh, square on the slant and then put circle on the out route and then smart route him which is triangle circle R1 so he gets that deep out route and I always like to hit this deep out route for cover three that's like one of my favorite uh, cover three beaters in the game it's pretty much a 10 yard gain every time um there's a way to like stop that out route but uh just going up against like an everyday person they probably won't like what a lot of people do in big nickel you'll see it online they'll put uh what jamal adams is in he'll, he'll go on the outside third and then that corner will go on like a cloud flat or a uh a uh, curl flat and then that's how they'll uh, beat you like that but if they're just running base cover three that's open every time I'll show it up against a uh, cover three match too real quick because uh, I know cover three match can sometimes give some people problems so uh, we'll go the same play stack out <clears throat> and then cover three can we just find cover three cover I don't want a three four cover three match because they're like linebackers on them so, um, cover three match, four three under, no, four three over, no. Um, nickel normal, cover three match. So, audible to spread. Doesn't really matter, like, what play you pick. Like, you just need the X receiver to kind of clear out that curl flat. So, you can put, like, triangle on a drag, um, and just, like, whatever you want. But I'm looking for the out route every time. So, boom, it's still open against cover three match. 
Um, for cover four now, obviously, like the pretty popular uh, cover four beater is a PA post dig shot, and they have that in this playbook. Where's it at? Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, PA post shot right here. So we'll just go cover four, cover four, drop show two. And uh, you're looking for a square on the deep uh, route because you'll see Jamal Adams come down, come down, come down. Square. Boom. Easy one play touchdown. If your receiver's fast, then Tyro Williams, I wouldn't say he's like a burner. Uh, we'll show it again just because. And uh, as long as you get time, this is a pretty easy play every time. Uh, you just kind of got to get the timing right of it, and then it's a one-play touchdown if they just want to spam cover four. So now what we'll be doing is I want to show it up against uh, one four six and like the all-out blitz. So I don't have a second controller, but we'll still come out in gun stack and then formation, big dime, one four six. Okay. So. We know the corners are going to be blitzing, so we can kind of just, like, imagine they're at the line of scrimmage. It doesn't really, like, affect what we're going to do. So what I like to do is audible all the way to uh, gun doubles week and have this RPO alert bubble set to your audibles. And pretty much, you can run the inside zone. Or you can throw the bubble every time, pretty much. So that's just, like, how I deal with 146. There's other ways. Like, I could come out and, uh... I could come out in the same thing. Uh, gun, HP doubles, max protect. Pretty much what you need to stop 146 is a tight end on one side and a running back on another. Streak, triangle, and then just run this double slant thing. And then you're bound to have someone open. Like, it, 146, it's pretty hard to deal with if you're not max protecting but just like and I like having a spread out formation to deal with 146 like even I could come out and like spread and like four verticals a lot of people just run it like base they don't adjust their soft squats or their zones so I can just hit X right here immediately or triangle immediately it's just uh, depending on what your opponent does now your opponent could do like a lot of things like there's so many adjustments that they could make to stop this. This is just kind of like a base view of like plays that work, if that makes sense. So what I want to do now is go into an ultimate team game and uh, try this scheme out. And then I'll, uh, I'll kind of like tell you what I'm thinking throughout the whole thing. <clears throat> so let's open up uh, ultimate team here. I hope... One thing, two things I hope happen. One, we don't play a runner. Two, they switch up their coverages. So, let's uh, play game. Head to head season. Seasons. Start now. I was taking a lot of L's last night. I can't lie. I was taking a lot of L's. There was a some people that just did like weird things to their defense and I rage quit out of a couple of games against runners um so let's get this thing started and also being in the Raiders playbook if you just want to cheese you can like just run all the run plays like strong H wing and just like weak flex close whatever it's called um, those are like obviously good running plays like the run is a meta but I like I just wanted to find like a scheme that like no one else was doing and kind of like make it my own and just see like where I could go with it and uh, the double stack formation was actually I was surprised that I was having that much success with it the corner around that play is absolutely ridiculous so the first I'm lagging bruh he has Jim Brown, so we can expect to get stiff-armed in the face every play. Um, so we're starting with the ball. No money spent. You have Jim Brown. Uh, doubt. Doubt. I barely spent any money, and I have Eric Dickerson, but I, I don't think you could have that team with no money spent. All I bought was the level packs. So let's get into this. We're gonna come out in the. Uh, we're gonna get our audible straight. So, um, gun doubles offset weak. Already has the alert bubble. Um, where's that double stack? Stack out. 
and then spread Y slot. Um, we're just gonna call a timeout. Doubles Y flex. This is a formation. It didn't have this in our practice mode for some reason. The practice mode playbooks and like the MUP playbooks are just like, uh, they're different. For I don't know why they are, but it's just like that. So. Oh shit, I'm gonna put inside zone. So inside zone right here. So double stack. Let's see what he's coming. Oh, I hit smash, but stack out. So he's in a cover three. So we're gonna go to doubles Y flex PA deep outs. We're gonna be looking for a Tyreek Hill. We're gonna block Eric Dickerson. If he's just gonna. I didn't like the way they uh, played that. He definitely did some uh, pretty funky with his coverage. That was not a base cover three, I don't think. And uh, that completion was lucky. I won't lie about that, but uh, yeah. So it looks like he's in a cover two. Could be in a cover four. Let's see what happens. So Tyreek Hill on this out route. Easy five yards. So a blitz. That's just, you just won't see that play a lot, so we'll just uh, deal with that. Uh, I got to put in a Koye for a Gronk, and then X should be open. I'm running with Vic. And then having an escape artist quarterback, if you want to pass, that's like everyone knows you need that to pass. So, <clears throat> so let's put in a Koye right here. And we're just going to keep running the stack out. This dude really is switching up his covers, though. I just hope we can catch him in a uh, cover, too. Let's see. Uh, ooh. That was a good user by him. Cover 6 introvert. I want to go into spread for this. Or, no, the doubles Y flex. We're going to see what we can do with this deep outs play. We're going to put a Koye on a uh, curl. And then... We're just going to see what happens. Uh, let's go. Tyreek Hill. Let's go. Um, that was cover six again. So I looked on the side with the curl flat, and then we just got uh, an easy touchdown. I, I say treat like cover six. Like it, One side is cover three. One side is cover four. So I, I like to look to the cover three side with the deep out and then just dot it up like that. So let's see what he does on offense. I, I I really am not in the mood to just play someone that runs the ball, but we'll see. Um, ooh, I think Tyree Kill either has return man or grab and go. All right, let's not give up a kickoff return, please. Oh my God, already putting me in a tough spot. So defense, I'm a meta player on defense. I can't lie about that. Um, three, four, bear. Um, wait, I, why did I do that with Jamal Adams? He doesn't have enforcer anymore. So I don't, okay, so. On, uh, we're gonna put Amos back here, strong, tight. So I like to just come out and cover four, pinch my D-line, spread my linebackers, bring my safety down. Because they buff the uh, run for uh, safeties. And if he he's most likely not going to break a run like that. Like it's probably like five yards a gain. And uh, not mad we didn't get that fumble. I didn't really think that deserved to be a fumble first play. So um, hopefully he lost his X for that. So gun punch tight end. No reason not to run 146. If you're not running 146 on defense, I don't know what you're doing. Um, so we're just going to man him up and we're going to use our tailman. we got to watch for the running back and like the right side of the field. Oh, now Holt. We're going to actually, oh, fuck. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to man him up. And then easy sack. Sorry, I couldn't talk right there. I was like trying to man him up on Tory Holt and I just got lost. We're going to run it again. So we're going to man him up on the tight end. And then we're just going to watch the middle of the field. Good screen. Good screen. What? All right. I guess X tackles don't work. So that's crazy. Uh, 
screen pass. All right, but this game isn't about the defense. I could really care less if he scores 50 points. I just want to show off this uh, offense and uh, show that it can work. Like, you don't have to just run a bunch weak to move the ball. It might be a little harder. It might make you think a little bit, but whatever. Like, just good to do something new sometimes. So, um, now we're going to come out, stack out, stack out, stack out. If he's showing like a cover 2-2 two, two high safety, I'm going to flip the play. And then I'm just going to put Tory Holt on a little dig instead of doing that like backwards zig. Nice little uh, pass right there. Tampa 2. So what happened was I think my receiver on the corner got like bumped or something. I don't I don't know, that's weird. Animations, am I right? Um stay in bounds. Alright, so we're so he's I don't know how he's defending this corner route, but he's doing some uh, weird. So we got circle right there. He's either in a soft squat, like auto bling him like that, or he's in a curl flat. I don't know. It's just kind of weird that he's playing a cloud like that. So we're just going to keep coming out like this if he's going to come out and cover two. That little uh, audible I make with circle is just so he gets uh, to that route faster. So. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the uh, corner route that we've been talking about. Uh, that time he was in clouds or he was in hard flats. Not sure, but wasn't it. So if he's going to stay out, so cover three now. Spread or gun doubles flex PA deep outs. Then we're going to put Okoye on a curl just because. And then let's see what he does. Easy dot. Cover three match, not it, boy. So goal line. Um, let's try to stack out from the goal line. I don't know. Actually, we're gonna go to uh, the play with the RPO bubble. So we're gonna go to um, gun doubles offset weak bubble. We're gonna be watching for uh, Moss right here. He's open. We're gonna throw it to him. Mm, good hit. We're gonna come back out and uh, stack out. We're gonna do the same thing. We might just hand it off to uh, Eric Dickerson this time. He's had his X the whole game. Got to feed Eric when he can. So let's see. Yeah, we're just going to go. I suck running the ball. So let's see. He's in cover two. Um, we're just going to run this play, and we're going to look to run with Vic. Or we're going to look to pass it to Eric Dickerson. Ah, that's on me. Uh, I thought I could get in there, but uh, if he just would have been tackled at the one, we would have went for it, probably would have got it. But next time, we're not going to be running that offense in the red zone. It's just hard to run an off meta scheme in the red zone. So he's in single back wing pair. We're going to, we're just going to spread everything, bring our safety down. Bring the safety over here. Then we're going to man up Lawrence Taylor on Tyreek Hill to watch that slant. Nice little pass. Oh, got to love abilities for running backs, don't you? So let's see. Strong tight. We're going to try edge blitz here. We're going to be a little aggressive. Um, this is what the play art looks like. I can't really explain it, but boom. So what I did was pinch the D-line, spread the linebackers, blitz both the inside backers, and put both the outside backers on a uh, hard flats. Um, I don't really know what putting them on hard flats does for the run fits, but they just play it like a lot better. Um, so we're going to – oh, he got Jim Brown. Good play. Ah, that's tough. We got to get instant pressure if he's going to do that. So wing slot. We're going to do edge blitz again. So pinch the D-line, spread linebackers, blitz bolts inside backers, put them on hard flats, contain. And then 
Ah, oh, it's just tough. Just tough. I know he's running the ball. I know he's running a stretch. Just, I don't know what I can do, so. Let's see. The fact that people like this can even, like, be in games with me is absolutely mind-blowing. Trey Y flex. We're going to go... I think we're going to go Big Nickel. Yeah, I think Big Nickel's the move for that. Um, let me get uh, Seahorn. Wait, no, Sanders. Timeout. We're going to put uh, Dion back there. And then we're going to put Amos right here. And then we're going to put Seahorn right here. And then, yeah. We're gonna run cover three, boom, boom, like this. And then what I like to do, if I have time, didn't have time, and he just got the best blocks in the world, I guess, so. I need to put Reggie White in, cause he's my other X, so. So boom, slam him like that. Um, I like to put this dude on the outside third. Uh, fuck, I can't explain it, cause he's just snapping the ball instantly. So you see, like on the screen, the two purples and the deep uh, blues, like the outside thirds. I like to switch those. They just play everything a lot better. So X, outside third right, circle. Oh, didn't get time. So that Tyreek Hill is going to be wide open. Ah, ha, ha. And then we're going to put, we're going to sub Daniil Hunter in for Aaron Donald to put a spy in. So boom, so boom, outside third right, cloud flat, like that. I know you barely saw it, but still. Ooh, give me that fumble. I just don't understand how people insta shed me and Big Nickel, but I can never get insta sheds. So, that's cool. And I have two X's on the D-line. Alright, we're just about to run 146. I'm tired of dealing with this shit. So, been tight doubles, yep. What we're going to do is act like we're on this safety. We're going to be on Ken Houston, never mind. I couldn't do what I wanted to do. Gun bun squads. This is five wide. We're going to come out and cover two. And then make it into a cover three. Come on, Ramsey. Bro, like, he's not even giving me, like, five seconds to adjust. Like, I, I can't adjust my defense how I want to because I'm getting quick hiked every time. Come on. Good stop. If he's just going for three right here, he can have it. I don't think I'm going to lose to someone that is just uh, going for three. We're going to go cover four right here. Shift him to the left. Spread. We're going to... Bruh. And he doesn't. Oh, it's so frustrating. So we're going to put Daniel Hunter right here. Run cover four. Pinch. Put Daniel Hunter on the spy. Kick your three. So boom. Put him on the spy. We're going to use our Lanier. And then put him on hard flats. Where? Where is my defense? Where is my defense? I have a, two deep blues back there. And a fucking... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous that people can do that. Mm. So we're going to have to get a stop on defense. So Let's just see. I don't mind uploading an L, but uh, it just sucks we lose to a runner. Oh, let's go. Wow. 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 <sighs> that should have been a touchdown. 
There's no reason why that shouldn't have been a touchdown. God, if I would have just stayed left, would have been fine. So, all right, we're pretty sure he's just going to run the ball first play. So we're going to come out and edge blitz. If he passes the ball, he could get a big game. But I'm pretty positive he's going to run the ball. Then we're going to be on Amos. Counter. Good shit, Reggie White. So now. Now I think we come out and cover four and all out blitz and do that cheese. So come on. Pick a play. So come bunch, yep, we're just gonna pinch, spine T line, back him up a little bit. We're gonna watch the slant right here. Oh my god, I saw that. Now we're gonna come out and uh cover nine and do that. Or should we do cover six? Mmm, cover nine. So we're doing the same thing we just did, blitz everyone, but we're going to be in a cover six shell right here. And we're going to use, use our Amos again. We're just going to... Pro, like these fucking screen passes. Oh my god, bro, I fucking hate screen passes. I'm expecting fucking routes and they just run screen passes. It's fucking annoying. Like it is smart because I'm blitzing everyone, but I mean, <clears throat> just not used to run going up against someone that runs screens. Ah, <sighs> uh, we got a fight now. Saw a little stop and go, a little bit, a little bit. I've been uh, working on that in practice as well a little bit. It's still not good, but it's better than it was. Looks like he's in a cover two. We're going to flip this because we want Moss on the corner. So let's see what he does. Um, squares wide open. Triangles wide open. Uh, I ran outside the pocket to bring that uh, curl flat or soft squad down. So... I could throw it to triangle and get a few more yards. If we just don't run this offense in the red zone, um, we are, we're probably uh, sitting at 14-7 uh, right now. So, again, he's in a cover three, it looks like. He's either in cover three or man. So, if he's in man, I'm going to run a zig right here and just look for the out route. So, let's see. Um, yep, cover three. Easy dots. <clears throat> so now back in scout uh yeah double stack so let's see what he comes out in i'm pretty much just been dotting him i just had one mistake in the red zone so that's on me if we lose the game it's on my offense so looks like he's in cover three so we're gonna go back to the same play no reason to change anything if he's not changing anything we're going to put him on a zig just in case he's in man coverage. And then easy dots. We're going to... F oh, hold on. Now, sucks we have to burn a timeout, but uh like coming out and stack out. So cover two it looks like. We're going to flip it, get uh, Moss on the that uh, corner route, put circle on a dig. And let's see. Squares wide open on the out route. Oh my god, if I had better stick skill, that's a touchdown. If I could, I was trying to stop and go and go to the left, but uh, I guess I just suck. So, so it looks like he's in a cover two. I'm going to try to send Moss on the streak right here. We'll see what happens. So, yep, dot. The way he just moves the safeties, I could just feel like Moss was going to be open on that streak. Alright, 
We just gotta fight on defense. Ah, I suck at defense sometimes. Alright, one score game. I don't think his defense can stop me. He's just running base plays. So, let's see. If we can just get a fumble or something. See, this is the games I wish I didn't have Reggie White activated and I had, like, Jamal Adams activated for uh, Enforcer. But, yeah, it sucks. So, don't think he's passing the ball, please. Oh, I thought he was about to break that, and I was about to be tilted. I'm going to try 146 against this. Might not work. Uh, we're going to slant our defensive line, blitz out linebackers, bring Pat Tillman down, and just, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. My, I got blocked by that dude. He's killing me with Vic runs. So this is what we're going to do. He saw us blitz everyone, right? I think I remember he ran a screenplay out of this. So we're going to man up Sanders on uh, Brown. So let's go. Let's fucking go. I knew he was trying to go to his running back. I knew it. Let's go. That was such a good adjustment. Um, I don't know what he's in, but that right side, um, we're just going to see what happens. X is going to be wide open. Okay. If that's a receiver, he catches that. Um, that was cover six, so we're about to go spread. Or not spread. I keep calling dou gun doubles wide flex spread. So, boom, just a little curl, and then. We're gonna look for this uh, guy over here, and I get insta-shedded. Oh, that's fun. So we're just gonna let it go into the uh, fourth quarter. Um, we're just going to run this base play right here. If he's in cover two, we got a dot. If he's not, then we're just going to run. Ah, uh, we got to go for it. We're just going to run uh, four verts right here. Let's see what happens. Probably not a good offensive play call, but we'll see. Going to play maker R1 up. That's fine. It's like a punt. Like a punt. <laughs> that cover six was uh, giving me issues. Come on, stop the run. There we go. Um, next time he comes out in that, I'm going to act like I'm in edge blitz, but I'm going to be in a uh, cover three sky week. <clears throat> Because I think he's about to pass out of this. I don't think he's about to run. And he ran. Good shit, defense. If he wants to chew clock, he can go ahead. We're going to come out in this uh, dime blitz. Then we're going to man him up on a... Uh, And he has time to complete that. That's so ridiculous. So dumb. We're going to put him. We're going to put. We're going to put Deion Sanders in a spot. Um, we need to stop right here. If we don't get a stop, we lost. I'm going to use her, uh, what's it called? I'm going to use her Dion. So, 
or not Dion, Jason Seahorn right there. Just because I feel like he's going to go like a quick like slant or something. Gun doubles HP weak. We're going to watch the screen right here. We're going to put Dion in like a... Come on, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Oh my god. Dude didn't go for the ball three times. We lost. No need to waste him and my time. Oh, that's so frustrating. We lose to a fucking runner. Um, yeah, the cover six was just giving me problems. You saw the, like, the cover three and, like, the base scheme of it, uh, it's, it's a pretty good scheme. You just gotta get a little comfortable in it, and right now, this is about, like, my third day running it. Wouldn't say I'm the most comfortable in it, but I think that's a game we win more times than we lose. Um, that run was just ridiculous, but, um. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to show you a little bit of a new scheme. Double stack, gun wide doubles, and then uh, the HB week with the zone bubble. Um, some some of the things I've been running. hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're going to be releasing some other uh, little uh, ebooks and uh, just like some off meta things. And I'm going to be trying to find a uh, off meta defense, but it's kind of hard because the meta right now is just crowd everyone at the line of scrimmage and blitz so um we'll be trying to find some for y'all but uh hope you enjoyed uh subscribe for more content and uh make sure to follow me on twitch when i'm live